throughout the day, we encounter a variety of chemicals. But in order to work with them safely, we need to be able to identify them. That's where labels come in. Labels tell us the name of a substance, who made it, and warn us about its hazards. Some labels even tell us how to protect ourselves. To ensure that we have this critical information, OSHA's hazard communication standard mandates that chemical manufacturers, importers, and distributors label containers of hazardous substances. These include drums, barrels, boxes, bottles, cylinders, storage containers, process vats, tanks, even trucks and rail cars. OSHA's requirements are fairly flexible. The labels must be legible, prominently displayed, and include three types of information. First, the identity of the substance must be marked on the label. Usually, a chemical is identified by a proper name, such as ammonia. But a substance may also be referred to by a common name, such as bleach. In addition to the chemical's name, appropriate hazard warnings must be clearly displayed on the label. These warnings can be in the form of words or symbols. They should plainly show that the contents of the container are hazardous. The final pieces of information that must appear on a container are the name and address of the chemical's manufacturer, distributor, or importer.